Hey guys, Rushkit J back with another video for you. Today we're taking a look at the Corsair Hydro Series H75. It's going to fit in between their H60 and the H80 cooler. Uh, it's a liquid all-in-one CPU cooler and we're going to have a little look and show you the installation as well. So we have um, this model in particular fits tons and tons of different brackets. You've got AM2, AM3, FM1, FM2, and Intel 1156, 1150, 1366 and 2011. Oh, so pretty much all of your sockets um it's a 120 mil radiator in this particular model with two um sp 120l pmw fans so let's get into it so the first thing we've got is an instruction manual which is going to tell you how to install everything um, and then getting into the into the box we've got yeah two of the the spl 120 pwm fans these go from 800 to 2000 rpm depending on what you want to control them at which you can set up in your BIOS or if you've got any software that comes with um, say Asus motherboards you can control that with some desktop software um, it pumps out um, 54 CFM 31.4 decibels uh, it also comes with a five-year warranty on this model which is you know ridiculous ridiculous um, with these because that's getting such a good warranty with these products I've got a bag of accessories we'll go through those in a second um, and then we've got the cooler itself. So this one, like I said, it's a 120 mil radiator, 25 mil wide. I think that's everything from the box. Get that out of the way. So yeah, 120 mil radiator on this model, and then two, two 120 mil fans. So you know, it's a great solution if you're looking to upgrade from a stock cooler, um, and you, you're a bit limited with space. You can definitely get one of these beasts in in your case if you've got a 120 mil mount on your on the rear case so um anti-kink tubing on this cooler it's powered by one three pin connection for your pump um it also has um, a microfin copper cold plate you can just see here it's take off the uh little plastic packaging that's on this so you can get a better look um but very nice it's actually slightly bigger than uh, the other coolers but it's still very low profile um, as well you've got the Corsair branding on there of course um, but yeah looking very nice very very nice very light as well um, let's have a look at the including accessories you get as well and uh, what else can I say about this so yeah PWM fans which you can control by the BIOS or software you get two of these ones uh, three pin connections four pin sorry on those as well and then your brackets so one thing they did put with the mounting in mind with this cooler is that they're trying to make it as simple as possible and it is uh, toolless for most of the brackets as well so you've got your back plate here you've also got a adapter so you can put two of the fans into one um, two four pins into one four pin adapter as well so you've got your two plates here if you're intel and amd we'll actually show you the installation in a, mo in a moment um, a pack of screws and then you've got where you're going to your thumb screws which you're going to where you're going to press down your cooler onto the bracket and cpu and then some of the um adapters as well that do the standoff um but i think so yeah you've got all your mounting options here little booklet to tell you what's included go through that so yeah it's an all in one you know sealed unit you never have to change the coolant that's in this it's always going to be good to go um, it's very well built as well it's, it's a lot better than um, the previous ones I think it's it just feels more more solid as well so it's only you know you've only got one cable from the pump as well so ceramic um, bearing pump and very easy it's pretty applied thermal paste on there as well so you don't have to mess around with that so you can just get it on a straight install it into your into your uh, case um, but yeah now we've, we've had a look at the actual 875 itself we're going to show you how it mounts onto a motherboard okay guys so the first step to installing your 875 onto the motherboard is to put your back plate on now we're using the b85 vanguard here and this uses 1150 socket so um the in the inner sides of the uh bracket here we're going to be using for this if you're using the 2011 you're going to need to just slightly slide them out 
to the further socket as it's slightly further spaced apart. Um, if you're using 1150, 1156, um, you're going to be using the um, the screws here, which are slightly thinner on one end because the 2011 has got a thicker uh, black back, back plate screw. So when we flip this around, you'll see that it's coming through on the slots here, and we're going to be screwing one of the uh, one of the double-ended screws into all of these sockets. So you just screw those in like that. Okay, guys. So once you've got your four screws attached, it's literally a case of putting your cooler pump onto the bracket, making sure it all sits on there nicely, and then screwing it down. So we're going to do the, the right, top left rather, first, just to look, just to look bite so we can get a bit of a grip on it, and then we'll do it up fully once we've got the screws in. So I'm going to go top left, bottom right, top left top right rather <laughs> and then bottom left um, and then just just do it up till it's, it's nice and secure and that's it so install your back plate put your four um, screws on that attach your cooler onto the actual to the bracket itself and that's it so look very simple tool toolless effort and you've got yourself your 875 mounted with extreme ease, that was super easy. Um, it's the easiest cooler I've ever installed, put it that way. So um, yeah, so that was how to install that 875 with an overview and unboxing. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you all next time.